My name is Gord Miller. I'm the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario. And this video is here today because of my, the release of my annual report, Losing Our Touch, which I released to the Legislative Assembly recently. Uh, obviously, I deal with a, a wide range of topics, and I want to talk about one of them in this video. And that is Ontario's Low Water Response Plan. Now, well, what is that? Well, we're not talking about the Great Lakes, although they have their own low water conditions to be concerned about. We're talking Low Water Respo Response Plan is about the water levels in streams uh, throughout especially throughout Ontario, uh, in times of drought. And of course, 2012, we did have drought in Ontario. And it's worthy of some attention. The Ministry of Natural Resources made some changes to the low water response plan uh, in the past year. And I review those in the report. And I just, let's, let's go and take a second here to, to talk about what low water response plan is, and then I'll talk about the changes. So basically, the plan says there are three levels of response. There's a, a, when drought hits and stream flow d diminishes, you can have a level one response. Well, level one response means water is getting low, and so it requires the conservation authorities to go to the people who draw water, who use water out of these streams, and suggest to them, ask them, to reduce their water consumption by 10%. If the drought continues, then it goes to a level two response. A level two, very low water, and then the conservation authorities are asked to go back to those same users and ask voluntarily if they would reduce their water consumption by another 10% for a total of 20% reductions. And if the drought continues, there is an elaborate planning process that must be followed, too elaborate, I'll get to that. But you would bring, theoretically, to a level three. And at level three, that's when municipalities and conservation authorities would implement mandatory restrictions on water use. Well, that sounds like the basis for a good plan. Unfortunately, there's a problem. The problem is we never get to level three. And, and what does that mean? Well, in Ontario this year, in 2012, as I mentioned, there was a drought. And this map here is, uh, is actually the, um, the, the remaining drought conditions in September. The yellow spaces here are conservation authorities where a level one uh, restriction was uh, put in place. And the orange areas are areas where level two droughts occurred. You'll notice there are no level threes because there has never been a level three water restriction called for in Ontario. And therein lies the problem. The process in moving from a level two to a level three is so cumbersome and takes so long that we already have had in Ontario streams go completely dry and no level three is called. Well, what's, what's the consequence? Well, there's an important, you know, people use the water to water golf courses, do other things, manufacturing process sometimes, washing and various activities. But mo most importantly, the ecosystem deserves a share of that water. The base stream flow, the, 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 if you like the fish and the frogs, the living things in the stream need a, a base flow that will secure their living condition. So level three is the thing that protects the base flow of the ecosystem and we have a system, a policy system, that's too cumbersome to give us level three protection, and that's the problem. You can find out more about us if you go to my report, Losing Our Touch, on the website, www.eco.on.ca.